this is Sonia from my happy space welcome back at my channel today I'm going to make use of these little flash cards or these little gin cards which is all about the names of God and it's designed by Brianna Showalter um, at one of the greatest at illustrated faith and I've been meaning actually uh, for many months to make a uh, something with it because i want to i've studied the names of god previously and i've got a book about it also so it'd be nice to go back to it once and have a reference point for it and i've decided to make a faith text card with a little pocket in just to add some journaling in and i've got picked up this little bucket which is actually it was even cheaper than a, a present box so i thought that would be a nice sturdy way of, of using a faith text sort of card and then I pulled all my leftover printables sometimes I print things out and then I use it or I don't use it so I've just collected a stash of them from my illustrator mostly it's from illustrated faith some are from other companies also and then I'm going to make a faith tech system or faith tech cards with pockets in as I said and I am um, yeah, just going to make it. I've just made a template just to see how wide it needs to be to fit it in. And yeah, I've just measured it more or less, just go back and forth and make sure it is um, fitting in there um, comfortably. And the straw, the little poles is the straws. Now I'm showing you my system. I've got lots of, as I said, when I print things out, obviously we don't always use everything. So I've got these little holders which I leave. leave all my extra journaling cards in so if i do bible journaling and i want a journaling card i just try to grab to um, any of those before i print anything off unless i do something very specific so what i also have is i've got some of these clear holders which you actually put makeup in and then i've just got them stacked on top of each other and here i keep all my leftover tabbies um, so I just cut them out already or try to cut them out already and put them in there so when I do a Bible journey page I can just grab one of them yeah I put some uh, grit labels in um, all my leftover grit labels when I print it out and I don't use it and then I'll show you another clear um, acrylic jar or um, drawers which I have and there I just left over flowers when I cut out printables yeah so this is just all the flowers i've got so if i need a flower and i'm not really too particularly what collection i'm using i just go for there and this bottom drawer i just got all my word fetty leftover word fetty from printables and from devotions or just any scrapbooking word fetty actually so if i feel the need of a word fetty then i just grab um, one of them so it's always handy to have these things sort of um at hand so you can make use of it so i thought this project is perfect for using up my stash now i'm showing you also this is my system where i use my leftover printables when i um, get a printable from the mostly from illustrated faith but from other companies also and then i take a a4 piece of paper i fold it in half and i make almost this file of fuel file of facts holder and i just fold it on top of each other and then i put my printables in this clear sort of small little pockets and then I just pop it in there so I have it. So especially if I do something like sermon notes, I'm thinking, do I have a printable that speaks to me? Which has got more or less the same topic. And I've divided these file of faxes in designer's name. Like just all my Kelly Banks things is in the one folder. All my Brave Little Tailors in the other folder. So yeah, then when I use it, then I at least know from what designer it comes from so that works well now this system i didn't think of it i saw it um from tiffany from i heart all things she put once on her instagram stories how she is putting all her printables sort of in in the folder i don't think she put it in clear pockets but um i just like to keep it all separate so yeah this is just my way of doing it um i definitely i think i need another one or i or maybe this is the reason why i'm trying to do these projects so i can um, use some of these printables um yeah it's always good to have these projects like as i said like sermon notes and just you know five text cards is good ways to use up your printables so i'm going to put you on fast forward and then we're going to put put this together so i'm just getting my t-square ruler out just to measure it i think it was about four by four and a half inches but obviously it will depends on what 
index box you are using. So I'm just grabbing my first piece of paper, just cutting the edges off to make sure that it, I start from one point. And then, as I said, I've just also, the length is about eight inches. So I'm just folding it in half. And there I've got my little folder now. And obviously, I'm going to put the holes in later and then pop it in there. So I'm just showing you the second one I'm making. It, as I said, it's about four and a half inches um, by eight inches long. So yeah, there is all my little folders. I had about 17 of these cards. Might have lost one or two in the in the process because I had it so long in my stash. But um, if I find it, I can just make quickly another five text card. So what I do is at the halfway point where I fold it, I just a little bit, a few inches, a half an inch of it, I put double-sided tape. And at the edges, I also put double-sided tape. So when I take it off and I fold it back, that is going to become my pocket. The reason why I didn't put... That one I've just which I just take off now at the edge of the fold is because obviously I'm going to put my uh, little holes in there to put in my five text box. So I don't really want to go through the glue, obviously. And the reason why I make a pocket is because I want to put this journey cards in there. So yeah, I'm just showing you where I use my hole puncher to put the hole in there. I've got a video all about five text cards, which I will link up here. So if you want to see my approach and how I do everything. Um, go and check out that video You're very welcome so that is my first card so I'm going to do exactly the same with the second card just um, put it in and yeah like magic all my little cards is now fold over I've made the pocket pocket and now I'm starting to do my decoration so my system is very going to be very the same I'm just going to put a doily at the bottom you saw my little holder of all my doilies um yeah wherever i see a nice color doily i always get it i am missing i'm looking for sort of a peachy pink doily the company or the place i i buy it from they just don't have it at the moment um so um sort of once in a while i go back there and just check it i've asked him to order it for a while but they said it's very difficult at the moment everything comes from overseas so it's difficult to find some so my first one is yahweh lord is my master and um yeah i'm just going from my pocket this pocket is from brave little taylor um i can't remember exactly what this printable is called something like i'll praise you or something like that um, was one of my favorite ones and then I'm just going through it and see if there's any flowers that speaks to me any colors that coordinate with this pattern paper I think this pattern paper is from Becca Bonwell and um, yeah I love looking at all these names with the references and um, yeah I've, as I said I've had a book and it's a fantastic book I've, I've studied once with all the names of Jesus and all the names of God and it was really a lovely devotion which you go every week, you study one of the names and every day there's sort of a little small little devotion about it. So I really enjoyed it and I'd love to go back to it because I think you can never um, learn enough. And then as I said, then I've got this little five text card and I could, my, could put my little journaling in there. I can put as many journaling cards in as I want. Um, so that will be a nice way to do it. So as you've seen with that one, the one I've just put in the little holder, I've put some word fetty also on there. So yet again, I put a doily um, underneath that one. I've decided to go for a craft color doily. This printables is also from Braveville Taylor. And this is, I think, Grow in the Dark. This is one of my all-time favorite printables from Braveville Taylor. Beautiful. It's all about Joseph doing um, difficult times, how he can grow. So that butterfly is just gorgeous. I love it. So I've decided to put a butterfly instead of a flower. And the idea is that I didn't want to print anything extra because, as I said, if there was no flower that um, spoke to me, then I just use something else that speaks to me. So, yeah, I want to um, put a prayer request in my printer broke yesterday. So I'm quite upset. Oh, actually, it doesn't broke. It's a certain color just doesn't want to print. Um, the blue color so i think the, the one of the nozzles of the the ink might be blocked but i don't know how to do it i've been on youtube watch youtube videos but it's a little bit too complicated outside my um sort of great i don't think i'll it can be so technical to sort that out so i'm going to try to take it today to the place i bought it and maybe hopefully they can fix it or at least refer me to somebody who can fix it so I am lost for words. I don't know how people do it without print, um, printers. Um, here in South Africa, printing color is very expensive. So it's so much more economical to have your own printer. So yeah, if you do seem, 
see me in the next weeks or so using lots of printables I've <laughs> had in my stash, then you know that's a reason. And yeah, if you've seen um, this the other card I've just done, is as I said, I'm following the same principle. I, I just want to try to show you as many cards as possible how I made it. Um, this is our Rafa. Oh, I think it's, yeah, no, oh, the Lord is my shepherd, um, you, um, Jehovah Ra. Um, the underneath, what is nice, there is, a, ex, they see broke it up to, to tell you exactly how you pronounce these names. Um, so, yeah, obviously the reference there is Psalm um, 23, which is nice, the Lord is my shepherd. And I should have actually, Brave Little Taylor had a printable last year about Easter with little lambs, but I actually couldn't find any um leftover printer books because I put it in a in a book and um yeah I used everything up so yeah as I said I didn't want, I couldn't print anything but also the idea is I didn't want it to print anything so I decided to go for that bird. I love that card. I love the how the bird looks. So I've gave you a collection of how I've put all these five text cards together. So I'm gonna give you a quick flip through. That one is probably one of my favorites. I just like the simplicity of it. And this one is nice and bright. And this is the one we've just made now together with the bird. And I just went for my journaling stash and I've just put all these journaling cards in it. And some of them I put some um, tabbies on top. Some of them I put some ribbon or what, rope on top. Um, yeah, that one is also nice. I like that one too. And this is one of the principles from Mandy Ford of these one of these girls. And this is also a brave little tailor printable, um, little flower. I think that's the one we made in the beginning. And this, the simplicity of that one, I also like. And this is also from Brianna Showalter, that printables with the, that was a lent printable from the previous year. That is also from Brave Little Taylor, and that is one of my journey cards for my devotion, Come Away From Me Beloved, so I could use that also. And this is also from Manny Ford. This is, I put that bunch of flowers at the corner and just cut it off. This one is also one of my favorite. I love that. This is also from Brianna Showalter's one of her printables, that butterfly. And yeah, little girl is so cute. That's also a brave little tailor devotion. This is think from Abigail, um, also from Illustrated Faith. And yeah, I'm just I like love how it comes out came out. I like the simplicity of it. I just keep try to keep it simple. If you make so so many five text cards, I think it's important to keep it simple. Um, yeah, so I just got it now in my stash and when I'm ready to study it, I'm even going to put it on my desk when I do my morning devotions. And if I come across a verse that speaks to one of these verses, because I am actually going through the Old Testament at the moment, so that will be perfect to pop down something if I learn something about Jehovah Rava, my healer, then I can put it down in there. So let me know if you have a specific name of God which speaks to you a lot or which became very real to you um, in your life. It'd be lovely to hear from you. Pop it down in the description box. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, you must have a fantastic day and um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.